mani nena bodni marwechang ngal ku bokiana botkana kumagani mini i yalara ngando wangandi mani nena bodni ngal ku yatana yaiti yatang ngal ku pata wili takandi on behalf of Ghana people i welcome you to our part of the country this part of the country we know as pata wilia it's good that we acknowledge country wherever we go kumadi yaiti mena kumadi pinda mena yaiti yatanga tikandi mani nena bodni ngal ku yatana to know non-Aboriginal and Aboriginal people that live on our country, a very special welcome to all of you. This part of the country we call Patawilia. Patawilia is, uh, means the swamp gum foliage. So this part of the, uh, the Patawilianga is, uh, I guess, a fairly significant site pre-colonisation as a main ceremonial ground, camping grounds, especially through summer. But obviously, if you fast forward, this was uh, the site of uh, uh, the introductions to non-Aboriginal people to our lands. Our people first saw the English when they first arrived and gave them a, a title we call Gunyu. Uh, Gunyu actually means a dead corpse. Our people first saw the English with white wrinkly skin and thought that they were like zombies, the, the walking dead for our people the first time, or the only time we saw white wrinkly skin was in the death and dying process uh, when we smoke and uh, dehydrate the body. And in colonisation, when they, when they first arrived, uh, our people saw the white wrinkly skin and the dead corpses walk for the first time. So it was a bit daunting for our, our people at first. And, and that name, Gunyu, actually still is relevant to non-Aboriginal people today. This is the very first site uh, where the proclamation was established for the settlement, but also this was where the start of the English reign to be empowered and, and taken over this, this part of the country. When this country was pro proclaimed, it was the first time that the English flag had been flown on this part of the country. Garana people were sort of pushed to the side at this point in time not really allowed to be a part of the celebrations itself, nor was, I guess, Ghana people wanting to be uh, involved. The significance of the proclamation as well is that when uh, the British arrived to these shores, were given the instructions to follow and respect the, the local Aboriginal population here. And that was, uh, I guess, stamped by um, and written in a letter by the king. And, and that, that letter itself is known as the letter's patent, which was to live harmoniously alongside the Aboriginal people. But the powers that were in charge actually sort of pushed the letter's patent to the side. And I guess that's when English law and, and policy started to be embedded into our mainstream society and it became the most um, dominant at that period of time. This has been totally ignored. 175 years to wait for a bit of justice in this country is just far too long. The Te Ariwangandi Kumanka exhibition here at the Bay Discovery Centre is a, a great way for Aboriginal people and especially Ghana people to have our voices heard. Talking about proclamation and the establishment of South Australia very early on, our people had lost their voice, lost the uh, opportunity to share our knowledges and our culture. So uh, this uh, exhibition is about understanding the history of, of this country from an Aboriginal perspective. We've got representation from the settlement period of time and some of the cultural information that is relevant to Ghana people, especially of the area. So you can get an insight of who Ghana are. You'll be able to see some, uh, I guess, uh, a mix of both worlds here with the, the letters of the proclamation and the letters patent here. You've got the representation of the Ghana shield, which is quite unique to Ghana people uh, as a sign of protection. And it stands here as the, now a sign of protection of our language and our culture. Um, and the information that we provide and hold as Ghana people. So uh, this exhibition uh, about truth-telling is about understanding that Ghana people have a, have a side of the story that needs to be heard. And uh, here is an opportunity for us to share that voice.
ngal ko ber ko penchande ngal ko waral tampenga as we walk this country recognize our ancestors and our elders listen to our stories and pay respects to the Kaurna people this is a journey for us to learn together to understand together so we can move together so come check out tiari wangandi kumanka in truth telling together